the uh, uh, are removed from the yeah, crystal from the crystal yeah, very good. <sighs> okay thak gaya solutions okay fine solution first question is what is the solution so one liner definition that you should remember is it is homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture of homogeneous mixture of two or more substances okay so <clears throat> each and everything is important in this whole line okay each and everything you can't miss anything you can add a few things here okay but you cannot okay. subtract any other word homogeneous mixture of two or more substances it is known as it is what it is known as solution now when you will have two or more substances then that means we can call them components okay so the components what are the components of solution solution components of solution now each solution will have at least two component okay at least two component one component will be the solvent and i will denote solvent by a okay and what is a solvent the component in larger amount component in larger amount second is solute second component is solute which i will denote by b and it is the components compo and i am writing s in bracket okay so it can be one component also it can be multiple components which are in lesser amount components in lesser amount okay so these are some of the definitions which you already know yes or no please tell me yes please write this down so finished okay now in solutions the main thing is for example can you give me an example for solution basic mm. example ghar wala ghar wala salt and water sugar and water yes sir okay. ah, very good okay very good so first thing is that uh, what is the what is this solution made up of right and so we say that okay fine we have water and we have sugar so whatever uh component is present whatever substance is present we have to know about that one important thing is that and the next thing which is important about any kind of solution that is the concentration because you can easily identify you can easily identify which of the solution is concentrated and which is diluted you know which of the substance is concentrated and which one is diluted okay now both of them the solution that you have concentrated and diluted both will have different type of nature right both will have different type of nature so con yes. concentrated sugar solution if you will drink then you will get more calories and if you don't and if you drink a diluted one you will get less calories right so there are differences in both the cases you have some differences due to the nature of you have some differences due to the nature of components or substances present in the solution and the next difference that you have is by or due to the concentration hence we will learn about concentration terms so over the years concentration terms okay now over the years and according to the usage okay according to the usage and application many concentration terms have been formulated okay they have been formulated and these concentration terms you have already learned in your 11th standard the first one is mass percentage the first one is mass percentage it is given by w by w okay now what is mass percentage and how how will you calculate it so mass percentage is equal to mass of a component which is divided by mass of a component 
that is divided by total mass of solution and then multiply with this by 100 so you will get the mass percentage right so for example if i will write for example w a and w b w b w and w b are two components wait a second are the masses of two components are the masses of two component of a solution of a solution in this case the mass percentage of a will be equal to w a divided by total mass of solution will be the mass of a and mass of b w a by w w a plus w b multiplied by 100 similarly if i want to write the mass percentage i will write the percentage w by w of b so this will be equal to w b upon w a plus w b into 100 is this clear yes or no please tell me yes okay next is now this is one way in which you are going to calculate this calculate the mass percentage the next thing that is very important and please listen to this don't write anything okay please listen to this so when you are given something like this 10 percentage w by w of aqueous nacl please don't write anything listen here aqueous nacl now what does this mean this is a statement that is completely related to chemistry. How will you translate this and how will you extract information from here? So in this small phrase, it has everything, the solute, the solvent, the concentration. And it also gives you the mass also of the solute that is dissolved in solution. So it means 10 gram of NaCl is dissolved in 100 gram of solution there is another statement which is giving you more detailed information that is 10 gram of nacl is mixed with 90 grams of water okay please write this down let me know when you're done Uh, so Hamza, can you hear me, Hamza? Yes, sir. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. How are you? Alaikum, sir. Same, What happened? Why are you so late, huh? So, uh, outside. Sorry? I was feeling outside. So you were outside. Yeah, not, not outside. I was uh, in my house only. I was feeling. So you are not feeling well. No, sir. I was cleaning, cleaning. Uh, what is he saying, sir? I could not understand. Uh, so maybe he's saying I was cleaning, sir. Cleaning. Can you please write that, Hamza? What were you doing? Okay. Now, next is volume percentage. You were cleaning outside the class. Hamza, that's what I want to ask you. Do you not remember about the class? 
No, sir, I remember. Uh, but I was doing uh, so I kept the things and then I came inside. So it took a little time. Acha, acha. So it took you more time than you expected. Yes. Asa yes. kuch hua? Acha. Yes. Okay, fine. Volume percentage. Okay, volume percentage is given by V by V. So, आप तो आए नहीं लेकिन फिर भी आप देखिए हमजा यू हैव टू राइट मास परसेंटेज देखिए एक तो आपको स्पेस छोड़ना है पहले थोड़ा सा हाफ पेज का देन यू राइट कंसंट्रेशन टर्म द फर्स्ट थिंग इज मास परसेंटेज यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न मास परसेंटेज इन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड राइट सो वाइल यू आर राइटिंग दिस आपको याद आ जाएगा क्या पढ़ा था आपने इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड में उसको लिखेगा एंड देन यू विल राइट वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज इट इज सेम टू मास परसेंटेज यू जस्ट नीड टू रिप्लेस द वर्ड मास ओके एंड हियर यू विल राइट टिल हियर ओके वट एवर यू हैव रिटर्न फॉर मास परसेंटेज You will write for volume percentage till here, ठीक है उसके बाद ये जो ऐसा एग्जाम्पल है ये हम बताएंगे ठीक है कैन यू राइट दिस हम सर समझ में आगे बात ये सर मास परसेंटेज तो पूरा लिखना है लेकिन मास परसेंटेज से फिर उसी तरह का वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज लिखना है यहाँ तक ठीक है और ये जो एग्जाम्पल है लास्ट वाला ये हम बताएंगे चलिए राइट इट फास्ट एंड जैद यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट द वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज सिंस यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न मास परसेंटेज आप लॉजिकली लिख सकते हो ना आपके पास मास परसेंटेज दिया हुआ रिलेट करके वॉल्यूम परसेंटेज के बारे में है ना सुनना ही नहीं तो ट्राई कीजिए कहीं मिस्टेक होगा तो फिर हम बता देंगे
Done, guys. Yes or no? Please tell me. Oh uh, yes. Hamza, what about you? Yes, sir. Done. Then, तो बताइएगा ना हो जाए तो ठीक है. Now see. If I will say ten percentage of ten percentage V by V of aqueous ethanol. So it means two things. Ten gram of ETOH. ETOH is short for ethanol. ETOH is dissolved in. Sorry, ten gram. You got ten ml. Hoga. My bad. Ten ml of ETOH dissolved in. Hundred ml of solution. Okay, it will also mean ten ml of ETOH is mixed with ninety ml of water. Okay, so please write this statement. You understood this right? Yes or no? जब भी आपको ये wording मिले ऐसा कहीं पे question में, then you will translate it first to Uh, i will sub, i will always suggest that you translate this to second statement okay because second statement is giving you better picture it is also giving you the mass of uh, sorry volume of solution and the volume of each component here also in 10 percentage w by w also the second statement is giving you larger picture about the mass of solute and the mass of solvent is this clear yes or no please tell me yes third is mass by volume percentage okay third is mass by volume percentage Mass by volume percentage. So it is given by W by V. Okay, W by V. Now, what does it mean? Now, in mass by uh, mass by volume percentage, I will be just giving you. If you have ten percentage W by V of NaCl aqueous. Okay. So this would mean only one thing. Okay, you cannot say anything of uh, anything other. You can just say one thing. That ten gram of NaCl is dissolved in ten gram of NaCl is dissolved in hundred ml of solution. Okay, but you can never say this statement is wrong if you say ten gram, ten gram of NaCl. Please don't write the next statement. Okay, this is wrong statement. Ten gram of NaCl is dissolved or is mixed with ninety ml of solution. So this is a wrong statement. Okay, this is not right. This is completely wrong. Okay, this is completely wrong. Okay, because you cannot add ten gram plus ninety ml. Huh? Right? I hope you remember from your first chapter of physics unit dimension and measurement that you cannot add two different units or subtract in for that matter. Okay, so mass by volume percentage it will mean only one thing that 10 gram of NaCl, 10 gram of the solute is dissolved in 100 ml of the solution. Is this clear? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay. Next, Hamza, you have to write mass percentage. Write it. Now, see. Now, solve one question. Calculate. Calculate the mass percentage of six into ten to the power minus three grams of oxygen dissolved in one liter of sea water. So one liter of sea water, its weight is. One zero three zero grams. Okay, so it is one zero three zero grams. Please solve this. So should we do like uh, molar mass upon given mass? Uh, sorry, given mass one molar mass. 
अरे भाई इज देर एनी रीजन वाई यू विल यू डू दैट जस्ट अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला हाँ मोलर मास्क में लिखा ही नहीं इसमें आप सवाल ही क्यों पूछ रहे मोलर मास्क का इनकी आंसर इन चार्ट ठीक है वैसे बना के बैठे मत रहिएगा क्या वर्ड डन गई हमजा एंड जैन What happened, guys? Why are you taking so much time in division, huh? Six upon one zero three. Three, write, write. 
will be 5.8 into 10 to the power minus 4 percentage. Please write this down. What time laga rahe hai? Aap log please jaldi kijiye calculation. Aise kam nahi chalega. This chapter is completely based on calculations. Okay. Chaliye. Write this down. 5.8 into 10 power minus 4 percentage. Achha. Now you answer me one thing. Do you get any information? Jab aap se ye kaha jayega? That you have a particular solution in which the mass percentage is 5.8 into 10 power minus 4 percentage. In your head, can you make up anything like kitane me kitna hoga? Like in how many, in what, in how many amount of solution you will have how much amount of solute? Tell me yes or no. Are you getting an idea from this? A clear idea, yes or no? Tell me. Ah, guys, tell me. Hamza, Zaid, Awaz nahi aari, kya? So in one liter it is this much. So no, in nahi, ye to nahi ka one liter me itna hai. Kis ne ka? Ye to percentage na. Percent ka matlab kya hota hai? वन लीटर में तो ये यहाँ पे इनफॉरमेशन दिया ना वन लीटर में इतना है ठीक है इसे सिंथेटिक में माइंस थी ओके इन वन लीटर तो डेट इस तो इनफॉरमेशन गिवन लेकिन ये चीज तो आप लिखिएगा ना कि इन कमाली जी इफ यू आर शिपिंग सम प्रोडक्ट देन यू विल नॉट राइट दिस मच अमाउंट इस प्रेजेंट यू विल राइट सम does it make any sense to you? Like it is, uh, for example, 100, hai, hai na? if you say 10 percentage, 10 percentage makes sense to you. If you say 5 percentage, it makes sense to you. Even if you say 0 0.1 percentage, then also it makes sense to you. But does this term make sense to you? Yes or no, please tell me. 0 0.0058 8 percentage. Does it make sense? No, sir, it's very small point. It's very small quantity, right? It's very small quantity and you are not getting an idea. You are not getting a good idea and that is why another term it was invented, which is parts per million. So this was per cent. That means per hundred, how much is present? Now you are talking about, since it is very small amount, you are talking about parts per million. Parts per million. Okay, parts per million. So what is PPM? This is PPM. Okay, parts per million. PPM is equal to So if you want if you want to calculate the parts uh, PPM of any component, so part of that component, parts of component. divided by parts of solution the other better word will be total parts of solution okay so parts of component divided by parts total parts of solution and in percentage you multiply by 100 in ppm you will multiply by 1 million that is 10 to the power 6 okay that is 10 to the power 6 okay now, if you calculate this term now, if you calculate the PPM for the above question, let us see what PPM are you getting. So you have PPM. So it'll be equal to 6 into 10 to the power minus 3. Please listen, don't write. Divide by total parts will be. Now, this parts can be in terms of mass also. That is why we have to this part. So, okay. Divide by 1, 0, 3, 0 grams. Multiplied by 10 to the power 6. Now, this will be equal to one, 6 upon 103. 6 upon 103 will be equal to how much? 0 0.058, no? Yes. 6 upon, right? 6 upon 103 will be equal to? 0 0.058, okay? Now, here you have below 100, 1030 was there. So you will have 10 and here you will have 10 to the power 6. So this will be equal to 0 0.058 into 10 to the power 5. Yoga, na? Yes. Okay. And into you have 10 to the power minus 3. Bhi hai, mein. Hai, to 
So you will have 0 0.058 into uh, 5 and minus 3, 10 to the power 2. So it will be equal to 5.8. Now this is percent, this will be ppm. Now it means that approximately 6 gram is present, 6 gram in 1 million gram. Okay, 6 gram in 1 million gram. And, or you can write 6 gram in 1000 kgs. And, because 1 million gram will be 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3. And, yeah, it will be 10 to the power 3 gram. It will be 1 kg. So it is equal to 6 gram in 1000 kgs. Okay. This is making some sense, right? As soon, approximately 5.8 gram is it exactly. I'm saying approximately you have 6 grams in. 1000 kgs. Now, this is going to make sense in a better way. That is why PPM was introduced. That is why PPM was introduced. It was introduced only to write the concentration terms of very small, when very small amount of solute is present in solution. Okay. Now, one of the example is it is used to give the lead content in paints, okay. lead content in paints. So lead is poisonous and uh, the maximum content lead can have is 90 ppm. Okay. If you, if any paint exceeds 90 ppm, then it is illegal to sell that paint. So please write parts per million and write this solution here. This whole part, let me know when you're done. You done? Yes. Right. Okay. Now moving on. All right. Another question. Okay. Write the question with me. 11, 11 gram of oxalic acid. Eleven gram of oxalic acid is dissolved in. Please write this question with me. Is dissolved in. 500 ml of solution, 500 ml of solution. Density is given, density of solution is given as 1.1 grams per ml. 1.1 grams per ml. What is the mass percentage? What is the mass percentage of the solution? What is the mass percentage of the solution? Mass percentage of the solution. Wait a second. Of uh, let me write oxalic acid in the solution to be better wording. Of oxalic acid in solution. Okay. Clear, Sawal. Apne yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay. So what is mass percentage? What is the formula? Tell me what is mass percentage equal to? So will be equal to mass of? So mass of the component. Uh, which component? By, which component? Which component? Uh, oxalic acid. Can yes, sir, oxalic, oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. Okay. Oxalic acid. Oh, yeah. Oxalic acid. Divided by mass of? Solution. Solution. Batayye. Mass of oxalic acid. Diya hai aapko. Kitna mass of oxalic 11 grams, 11 right? Grams. Yeah. And what is the mass of solution given? Mass of solution the away? 500 milliliter. Mass the woe. Sorry. 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 तो यहां पे हम लिख देते हैं d into v d into v कर दीजिएगा लेकिन खास ध्यान रखना है आपको यहां पे यूनिट्स का ठीक है सो व्हाट इज द डेंसिटी हियर इट इज 1.1 ग्राम पर ml ओके okay, अच्छा ये मल्टीप्लाई भी होगा 100 से ठीक है दिस विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 100 बिकॉज़ मास परसेंटेज है 1.1 ग्राम पर ml इनटू द वॉल्यूम इज 500 ml ओके okay, यहां पे देखिए ml विल कैंसिल ml ओके okay, ग्राम्स विल कैंसिल ग्राम्स 
this is fine because mass percentage percentage will not have any units so i have 11 upon 1.1 into 100 upon 500 okay so this uh, two zeros and two zeros will get cancelled and 1.1 if i multiply by 10 i will get 11 so we'll get 10 upon 5 which is equal to two percentage please write this down please write this down fast What about Hamza? Hamza, click here. Yes. Done. Okay. Your mic is doing something to problem kar hai, Hamza. Yes. Right, Nick? Yes. You don't understand what you're talking about. My voice is very low. Your mic, phone, mic. What is very low? Sound is very low. Yes, sir. Achha. Right. See, next is molarity. Molarity you have already seen in class 11. So what is molarity? One line definition that you should always remember is the number of moles. The number of moles of solute per liter. of solution okay so by this definition what will be the formula see definition is starting point okay not formula so always remember the definition i would suggest and this definition will tell you number of moles of solute that means nb per liter of solution that means we have the volume in terms of liter and what will be the unit for this then the unit will be equal to for number of moles we have mole and for volume we have what for volume we have per liter that is liter inverse or you can also get moles per dm cube okay so dm cube is equal to one liter now we can also write molarity it will be equal to number of moles is equal to what please listen don't write anything number of moles it is equal to the given mass of solute and divide by the molar mass of solute right yes or no so i can substitute this number of moles and i can write it as wb upon molar mass into the volume in liters okay now in this statement you have to keep in mind that this should be in terms of grams this should be in terms of grams per mole and this volume is obviously in terms of liters okay Chali. please write this down and wait a second don't write now wait a second Ek note like here molarity has volume term in it hence it is temperature dependent okay as you know if you increase the volume if you increase the temperature of any liquid then what is going to happen? It will expand a bit, right? So if it expands a bit, the volume will get changed. And that is why the molarity of the solution will also get changed. That is why it is not a very, it is not preferred way of writing the concentration term. Okay. And mainly when you have items which are going to be shipped from one location to another location, so they usually write and they usually deal in the term that is uh, not molarity. It deal in the terms that is molality or mole fraction. Okay. But molarity is used whenever you are doing some kind of reaction in one laboratory so if you have anything and you are just dealing inside one laboratory so temperature is going to be almost same not very different that is why in that case we use molarity but if you are going from one place to another and you are shipping uh, solute and solvents and reagents in that case the mole fraction term or the term which is molality it is used okay so please write this down let me know when you're done uh sorry done okay now next is a few terms that you have to remember okay 
a few terms regarding a few terms regarding this molarity terms one molar it can be written as 1m and this means what you have been given concentration and the concentration is equal to 1 moles per liter similarly you will be given something which is known as something which is known as this is one molar or just molar something which is known as semi molar so semi molar means semi means half so half m you can also write this as so half m yeah that means half molar it means that you have 0.5 moles per liter next you can be also given centi molar okay centi molar centi molar means what centi molar means okay so before centi molar we can write decimolar it is don't write centi molar let us write decimolar decimolar so decimolar is 1 by 10th of molarity so this will be equal to how much this will be equal to 1 by 10 means what 0.1 moles per liter this is the concentration they are giving you can be given centi molar centi molar concentration means 1 by 100 of molarity which is equal uh, very good 0.01 moles per liter then the last one is millimolar okay so millimolar is what is 1 milli milli is equal to 1000 so this is 1000 0.001 moles per liter tell me please write this down let me know when you are done Right, done. Done. Okay, great. Yes. Now write another question. Write a question. Two point four six grams of. Two point four six grams of NaOH is dissolved in. is dissolved in water and the solution is made and the solution is made up to solution is made to 100 cubic centimeter okay 100 cubic centimeter calculate the molarity calculate the molarity of solution theek okay. hai please listen in this question first thing is that what is this 100 cm cube so please remember 1 cm cube it is equal to 1 ml okay so that is why the volume will be equal to how much first of all let us calculate the volume so volume is equal to 100 cm cube which is equal to 100 ml and we need molarity that is why we will write it is equal to 0.1 liters okay 0.1 liters next term is the number of moles of number of moles of solute number of moles of solute will be equal to wb upon the molar mass right so what is wb 2.46 grams please listen don't write what is the molar mass of nh please calculate and tell me What is the molar mass of NaOH? Calculation में आप लोग ध्यान दीजिए बहुत calculation है इसमें पूरे chapter में सिर्फ और सिर्फ calculation है Sir, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty-nine तो नहीं होगा. What are you missing? There is forty, I guess. Forty होगा ना? Five. आपने twenty-two ले लिया. अच्छा आपने twenty-two ले लिया क्या सोडियम का? Yes sir. Twenty-three होगा. Twenty-two point nine nine होता सोडियम का. This will be divided by forty. बस इसी को substitute कर देंगे हम लोग. You will get the molarity. It will be equal to the number of moles divided by the volume in liters. Okay. So this will be equal to two point four six. This will be grams per mole. Two point four six grams 
divided by 40 grams per mole multiplied by so this is number of moles multiplied by volume which is equal to 0 0.1 liters so as you can see grams and grams will cancel out each other okay and you will get this as 2.64 divided by so 40 0 0.1 i can write as 40 into 1 by 10 so this and this can get cancelled and mole inverse will go above it will become mole and in the denominator we have liter so this will be liter inverse now please you can calculate this 2.64 divided by 4 okay so this will be somewhere around 0 0.615 if I remember it correctly, moles per liter. Okay. Please write this down. Let me know when you're done. Yeah. Done, guys. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Write the next thing that is molality. Okay. Sixth is molality. It is given by small m. Okay. It is denoted by small m. So, what is molality? So, molality is the number of moles, number of moles present in. per kg of solvent. Important thing is as you have your kg and here you have the kg that is of solvent. So small m will be equal to the number of moles of solute which is divided by the mass of solvent Wa in terms of kg. Now what will be the unit for this? The unit will be equal to number of moles that means in moles per kg. Moles per kg will be the moles per kg will be the unit. You can also write the molality will be equal to WB, which is divided by molar mass of the molar mass of the what solute multiplied by the mass of solvent in terms of kg. Okay. This may be, please remember that this should be in terms of grams. This should be in terms of mole, sorry, grams per mole. And this W in kg should be in kg. Okay. Please also remember this. Now, one more note that you can write. This is the main advantage of molality over molarity. That molality doesn't have concentration, doesn't have concentration. Sorry, volume term. My bad. Okay. Sorry, guys. Doesn't have volume term. Hence, it is temperature independent. Hence, it is temperature independent. Now, for dependent, we can have molality. Yeah, temperature independent because molality, in molality, you don't have wait a second. Yeah, molality does not have. A volume term and hence it is temperature independent. Are you done writing the question? Yes, uh, sorry. Are you write, done writing the statements? Yes or no, please tell me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let us do some question. Okay. Right. Calculate the molality. Calculate the calculate the molality of solution containing twenty point seven gram of potassium carbonate. A2CO3, okay? Look, the main thing is what happens in the solution chapter. Mein. 
calculation and things are easy but if you don't know what is potassium carbonate then you are stuck you can't do anything right then you are stuck so potassium carbonate k2co3 dissolved in water and then you can think that density of solution it is equal to 1 gram per ml okay chali isko likhiye write this question <clears throat> molality it is equal to what the number of moles of solute divided by the mass of solvent in terms of kg Okay, in terms of kg. So we will calculate number of moles. So number of moles, it is equal to the given mass, sorry, given mass of what? Given mass of solute, Wb, divided by the molar mass. Okay, so what is the given mass here? Tell me. What is the given mass? What is the sorry, given mass? 20.7 grams. Now calculate the molar mass of K2CO3. Calculate the molar mass of K2CO3 fast. This is equal to 40. Okay. K ka 40 hota hai. Baaki aapko pata hona chahi. Carbon and oxygen. 12 and 16. बताइए कितना आएगा पोटेशियम का इट इस Approximately 40 years ago, exactly the potassium that is 39. Sir, is it 140? Yes, 140. Yes, 140. Yes, 140. Yes, 140. Yes, Whenever you are calculating, so I try to calculate it in terms of approximate thing and then I will uh, reduce it down. So we have taken 40. Do time 40, we have 39. If you are exactly what you are doing, it will be 138 grams per mole. है ना दो ग्राम्स घटा दीजिए दो पोटेशियम थे तो दो ग्राम घटा दीजिए ठीक है सो 140 आराम से कैलकुलेट कर लिया आपने उसके बाद दो घटा लिया सो यू हैव 138 ग्राम्स पर मोल नाउ इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस दिस विल बी इक्वल टू 0.14 मोल्स आई गेस 0.14 ओके नाउ द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट सो मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट विल बी इक्वल टू mass of solution minus the mass of solute okay minus the mass of solute what is the mass of solution here it is not given so mass of solution is not given then what we will use we will use the density and volume so the volume is 500 ml into the density it will give you the mass density is one they are saying and so this is also transfer ml this is also here in ml minus the mass of solute which is equal to 20 point 7 gram. So this will be equal to 500 minus 20.7. So this will be equal to how much? 80.79.3. Okay. So will be equal to 479.3 grams. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Now you can substitute the values. Molality, it will be equal to what? 0.14. You have here mole divided by 479 in grams. So this will be equal to, I can write approximately what I can write here. Uh, 0.4793 kgs, right? Right? kgs. So this can be written as 0.48 kg. Okay, you can write this as 0.48 kg. Okay. When you will solve this, you will get this as 0.313 moles per kg. Chali. Write this down. This is important. Hai. This part here is important. How we have calculated the mass of solvent now, that is important here. Okay. Dhyan rakhi guys ko. Mass of solvent. Solution minus mass of solute. It's used many times and mass of solution is also given in terms of density. Okay. This is density into volume. This is very important. Done guys, yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Okay. So next is mole fraction. Seventh one is mole fraction. Mole fraction, which is given in terms of chi. Okay, so this is written as x. Yes, see, alpha bolte na. Dikta to a ki tarah, ye b ki tarah dikta dikta, lekin b bolte isko beta hai. Ye y ki tarah dikta hai, bolte isko gamma hai. Usi tarah you have this Greek letter that is phi, which looks like x. Okay. Now what is mole fraction? Mole fraction is the ratio. And ratio of what? Ratio of number of moles of a component. Number of moles of a component to total number of moles total number of moles of each component. Okay, of each component. Now in binary solution, binary solution means Solution with two components. And in complete your NCERT, binary solutions are only used in which you have one solute, one solute present in one solvent. So in binary solution, what happens? In binary solution, with components A and B, you have two components here, A and B. Now please listen. When you have chi A, that means I am writing about the mole fraction of A. A. So mole fraction of A will be equal to the number of moles of A divided by the number of moles of A plus B. Number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Similarly here, chi B, this will be equal to the number of moles of B divided by the number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Okay, and also one thing is very important that is chi A plus chi B. This is only for binary solution, which will be equal to one. I hope you remember from class 11 this term, this equation, this expression. Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay, chi A plus chi B is equal to 1. Okay. Just write about mole fraction. Write about mole fraction. Uh, so, so if we get like uh... X A, so we can uh, just chi A, chi A, chi A, chi A. Ah, very good. Chi A, मिलेगा तो क्या कीजिएगा? Chi A. अगर हमें chi A, if we get chi A, so we can just subtract chi B one minus chi B. So we can get chi one minus chi A. So we can get chi B. Like that. This was a फिर से फ्रेम कीजिएगा आप हम समझ गए आप क्या बोलना चाहिए लेकिन आप साफ साफ बताइए अगर हमें एक काई ए मिल गया तो तो हम अगर काई बी फाइंड करना चाहें तो हम वन माइनस काई ए करके काई बी फाइंड कर सकते हैं यस करेक्ट इफ यू हैव बीन गिवन मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ वन कंपोनेंट इन अ बाइनरी सॉल्यूशन देन यू कैन इजीली फाइंड द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अदर कंपोनेंट बाय सबट्रैक्टिंग द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कंपोनेंट फ्रॉम वन ओके व्हाटएवर इज गिवन 
1 minus chi b will give you chi a, 1 minus chi b will give you chi a, and 1 minus chi a will give you chi b. Okay. Write this down. हमजा आपका हो गया yes, सवाल को लिखिए दिस हैज बीन मेनी टाइम्स ठीक है कैलकुलेट द मोल फ्रैक्शन विद हाइली इनक्लाइकोल इन सॉल्यूशन कंटेनिंग 20 परसेंटेज तो यहां पे आपके पास कन्वर्ट करने का है ना यू हैव इन गिवन कंसंट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मास परसेंटेज एंड यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोल फ्रैक्शन ठीक है ऑफ विद हाइली इनक्लाइकोल So please write this down. Let me know when you are done. Then we will do this question. खुद से कर लेंगे आप लोग ज़्यादा हमज़ा बताइए. खुद से कर लीजिएगा. हमज़ा. Yes sir. Yes sir. ठीक है. है ना सबसे पहले जो भी दिया हुआ उसका translation कीजिए. Twenty percentage का क्या मतलब होता है? उसके बाद आपको exact terms में लिखो grams of ethylene glycol. And the, अच्छा यहाँ पे एक चीज़ आप ध्यान रखिएगा. One thing is not given कि solution किसने बनाया. Right, you have not been given the solvent. What will be the solvent? Solvent will be water. वो भी जरूरी है, ठीक है? Because you have to find the number of moles of both A and B, solute and solvent. So you will take the solvent as water. Whenever the solvent is not given, you will take the solvent as water. सर इस मोरल मास 62 ऑफ C2H6O2 सो कार्बन हैज या इट इज 2 ग्राम पर मोल करेक्ट फॉर ऑक्सालिक एसिड ना या फॉर ऑक्सालिक एसिड यस सो व्हाट इज द ट्रांसलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी ये जो आपको केमिस्ट्री का वर्ड दिया हुआ है इसका ट्रांसलेशन क्या होगा Uh, 20 ग्राम्स 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 ऑफ 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 या ठीक है तो सबसे पहले हम लोग क्या करेंगे इसका नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी अपॉन सिक्सटी टू will be in grams this will be in grams per mole grams and grams cancel ho jayega uske paas ek jawab aa jayega similarly we will have 80 grams of water this will be number of moles this will be number of moles of a because it is solvent be 80 upon 80 grams upon water ka hota hai 80 isko yaad hi rakh lijiye water ka to yaad rehna chahiye aap logo kuch kuch ki kuch kuch kya bolte hain aapke paas jo molecules hain unka aapko yaad rehna chahiye hai na for example noh तो याद रहना चाहिए दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी ग्राम्स पर मोल ठीक है उसी तरह आपके पास एच टू को याद रहना चाहिए विच इज इक्वल टू एटीन ग्राम्स पर मोल ठीक है सिमिलर यू शुड ऑल्सो रिमेम्बर सीओ टू सीओ टू का कितना होगा बताइए कार्बन का कितना होता है बारह है ना बारह प्लस बत्तीस कितना हो गया चौवालीस फोर्टी फोर ग्राम्स पर मोल ठीक है इस तरह से याद रहना चाहिए आपको कुछ मॉलिक्यूल्स की भी So 20 upon 62, you will get this as 0.32. आया किसी का? मोल एंड एन ए इट विल बी इक्वल टू व्हाट? एन ए विल बी इक्वल टू एन ए विल बी इक्वल टू 80 upon 18. 80 upon 18 तो सही है. ये आ जाएगा 4.444. हाँ, ओके. मोल. ओके. Now you have to find the chi of C2H6. 
फोर टू यहाँ पे किसके बराबर आ जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू प्लस फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू डिवाइड बाई फोर पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स कुछ यूनिट नहीं होगा उसको सॉल्व करके बताइए कितना आ रहा है आंसर उसी के बाद आप काई ऑफ एच टू भी निकाल लीजिएगा तो काई ऑफ एच टू इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस काई ऑफ सी टू एच सिक्स ओ टू ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैलकुलेट द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑक्सैलिक एसिड कराया आप लोगों का नहीं आया अभी तक हाँ गाइस व्हाट हैपेंड सर इट्स टेकिंग लॉन्ग मैंने पॉइंट से पॉइंट किया था ये कीजिए ट्राई कीजिए आ जाएगा डिवीजन ही रहेगा इसमें ठीक है ना वी हैव मेनी डिवीजन मल्टीप्लिकेशन इसी में आप लोगों को थोड़ा अस्कट लगेगा यू विल बी फीलिंग लेजी फिर नहीं करके आइएगा मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे Zah, what about you? Answer, I have come, Zah. Uh, so it's coming zero point zero six. Yeah, correct. Zero point zero six. I have some problem in my equation. Yeah. In my in my numbers, it is wrong. Numbers. Ah, but one, one. 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 So I'm not getting the answer. I'm getting two digit, two digit number. Isko divide karne mein you are getting two. Isko divide karne mein. I get wrong, I guess. Oh no, I'm getting two again. Dekhi, jab bhi aapke paas is tarah ke numbers hai na, to aap kya kijiye inko. Sabse pehle you write it as thirty two into ten to the power minus two divided by four hundred seventy six into ten to the power माइनस टू हो जाएगा सही है इसको क्या लिख सकते हैं आप थर्टी टू डिड होगा ठीक है ना आल्सो वन मोर थिंग यू रिमेंबर टू नॉन जीरो नंबर्स आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट चाहे जो भी हो जाए ना ध्यान रखिएगा एटलीस्ट हैव टू नॉन जीरो नंबर्स अब देखिए जीरो पॉइंट आप अगर इसको जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स लिखते हैं आप ये तो गलत हो जाता है ना 
बिकॉज अगर इसको आप अप्रोक्सीमेट कीजिएगा तो कितना आना चाहिए जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन है ना ऑलवेज है एटलीस्ट टू नॉट जीरो डिजिट आफ्टर दी डेसिमल पॉइंट और इसी में बात करें वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स एट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच जीरो पॉइंट ये हो जाएगा टू थ्री नाइन सो नाइन थ्री टू Okay, so this will be the mole fraction of water. Is that clear, yes or no? Please tell me. Yes. Okay. Now, now let us look at whatever we have learned today. So we started with mass percentage, है ना? Start with mass percentage. जो concentration term पहला था हमारा that was mass percentage. After that we did volume percentage, right? Yes. After that we did volume percentage, है ना? Here we will write the name. We will write the unit. Write the definition. Okay. Now, what is the name? Mass percentage. The name is mass percentage. Unit will be percent, है ना? Unit will be percent. Definition क्या हो जाएगा इसका बताइए. What will be the definition? Will be the mass of component expressed expressed as percentage of total mass hai na mass of a component mass of a component as percentage of total mass theek hai uske baad kya padha humne volume percentage volume percentage ke unit ye unit ye ho jayega volume so this will be volume of a component as per as परसेंटेज ऑफ टोटल वॉल्यूम है ना नेक्स्ट हमने क्या पढ़ा नेक्स्ट वी लर्न अबाउट मोलारिटी मोलारिटी है ना मास बाय वॉल्यूम और पीपीएम पीपीएम पढ़ा था उसको हमने मेन तो पीपीएम पढ़ा ठीक है तो पीपीएम इज यूनिट इसका पीपीएम हो जाएगा पार्ट्स पर मिलियन डेफिनेशन पार्ट्स ऑफ ऑफ अ कंपोनेंट एज और पार्ट्स ऑफ अ कंपोनेंट इन 10 to the power six parts of solution. ठीक है ये बहुत मास और वॉल्यूम दोनों में ही हो सकता है. Then we learnt about molarity. Moles per liter. This number of moles of solute per liter of solution. नेक्स्ट वी लर्न अबाउट मोलारिटी कैपिटल एम से दिखाते हैं देन वी लर्न अबाउट मोलारिटी दिस इज मोल पर के जी वी मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट पर के जी ऑफ सॉल्वेंट पर के जी ऑफ सॉल्वेंट उसके बाद क्या पढ़ा हम लोगों ने मोल फ्रैक्शन है ना मोल फ्रैक्शन ही पढ़ाना इसके बाद में यस मोल फ्रैक्शन मोल फ्रैक्शन तो दिखाते हैं साइज से इसको दिखाते हैं छोटे एम से इसका यूनिट कुछ नहीं होता मोल फ्रैक्शन डज नॉट हैव एनी यूनिट एंड व्हाट इज इट इज रेशियो ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ अ कंपोनेंट टू टोटल मोल्स ठीक है छोटे छोटे डेफिनेशन है याद रख लीजिएगा इनको डन गाइस ये सोनो प्रीशल मी यस ओके कैन आई स्टॉप शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन हमजा एंड जैद यस डन यस चलो फाइन तो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डू मोर क्वेश्चंस ऑन नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी कंप्लीट